this week on Ultimate Outdoor Adventures TV. On today's show, you're going to see something a little different, and that's my daughter Shelby heading out in the field with a rifle. Now, if you've followed our show at all in the past, you've seen Shelby grow up archery hunting, and that is her number one passion, chasing animals with her Hoyt. Well, today we're out in Wyoming, and she has a rifle. Well, we spend a lot of time out in Wyoming doing antelope hunts. Um, we love to archery hunt them, and we love to rifle hunt them, and this is Shelby's first ever rifle hunt. Um, and it's kind of a special thing for a dad, and I want to say a special thanks to our good buddy Jeff Sikich because he's the guy that was doing all the scouting for us. He called me up and wanted Shelby to come down because he had a special goat that was hanging out in a hay field that no one had hunted. So when we drove down into this area, it did not take long before we spotted this animal and the game was on. We just came over the hill and checked out where these goats are at, but um, there it looks like they're uh, left of this telephone boy, so we're going to creep over the hill and see if we can get a shot at them. I missed. You didn't miss Shelby. You oh, drilled him. I just smoked him. Good job, Shelby. First rifle animal oh, done. Man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, That's awesome. I am so <laughs> proud of you. I've been watching him forever and I knew that oh was your goat. Thank you so much. Well, right before uh, we got on this goat, my dad talked to my uncle, which also has a tag out here, and we made a bet. The first one to shoot and get a picture to the other one gets 20 bucks, and looks like I just got $20 richer. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he looks sweet. That is an awesome goat. Oh man, Shelby. Chamber's empty. Guns on safe. Well, I can't even tell you how excited I am right now. This is my first uh, rifle kill, which is super exciting. I'm super jacked, and I want a big thanks to my dad for bringing me all the way out here for my first rifle hunt, and Jeff for finding this guy. He is awesome, and I couldn't be more excited. He is super cool. Couldn't be more happy. It's a quick hunt, but it was great. It was awesome. First spot in stock, and I couldn't be happier. Well, you've heard me say in the past, one of the great things about doing this show is the people we meet. And the guy that you just saw at my daughter's side on her first ever rifle kill, Jeff Seekitch, is one of those guys. Now Jeff has helped us through the past five or six years hunting out in Wyoming, and we've been very successful. We've killed a lot of antelope out there, and it's been a lot of fun. So this upcoming footage and montage is a thank you to Jeff, and you'll see how successful we've been out there.
While Shelby and I and Jeff were out in one part of the unit hunting antelope, JW and Russ were in another part. Now Russ had been out there earlier in the season archery hunting, but he had a couple mishaps with the equipment and wasn't able to fill his tag. So now he's back out in the same area trying to take a little revenge. I think it's that wide one from the uh, first weekend when I bow hunted down here. He's, he's got good cutters. Wide, really wide, not, not excessively tall. Um, the one on the left side? Yeah, the one on the left. I say we I say we go after this one. I think so. Yeah, yeah, he's I mean, pretty cool. That's a that's a cool buck. He, he looks cool and, and, and he's pretty good size. So it's a very nice one. You know, nothing it's gonna be huge, but no, I agree. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Let's saddle up boy. Showtime. bipod down have Jason pop the camera up behind me and uh, hopefully get a crack on him. Spine him. He's down. Oh. Oh. My neck. Oh, my aching neck. We've been laying here for, what, 30 minutes, Junior? At least. Trying to get a shot on this wide one. I saw when I was out here opening weekend or bow season. He's zigging and zagging and um, we got caught in a spot where I couldn't get a better angle on him. I want a prone shot because it's over 300 and I'm uh, shooting my 243. And uh, camera could see him but I couldn't from a laying position and I finally got him to step into a little bit of an opening and I asked Junior if he's on him. He says I'm on him and I squeezed and I think I hit a little bit high because I was holding high thinking the 243 wouldn't have the uh, distance and uh, he dropped right in the spot so <laughs> yes I mean, junior <laughs> I haven't shot a rifle at an antelope since 2007 2008 Seven eight, yeah. when I pulled the North Dakota rifle tag 
And Jason was along for that one too. Thanks, hey, buddy. Good job. That was fun. So, we had a, it was a fun day yesterday. We got off work and uh, got down to Gillette and went to one of our favorite pizza hangouts and uh, met some pretty cool people. We realized though that um, you almost need to shoot a lot of elk to come back to Wyoming the first of October because everybody has elk pictures. Yeah, it's like, but, uh, hey, you see this one? Hey, you see this one? Hey, my buddy shot these two yesterday. This couldn't have worked out better. I was on, I was focused out as far as I could go. There's enough wind that the camera just about moves so you can't hardly touch the camera. So to drop them like that was perfect. Good job. So we are, uh, we're going to go through a little, a little how-to session on uh, the Black's Creek. This is the answer pack. It's a 2,000 cubic inch pack. Um, has a grip frame on it. And it is, uh, as they say, and I agree, it's one of the most versatile packs out there, 2,000 cubic inch. Of, of great packing ability but the neat, neat thing about it is once you get an animal down you're gonna pack it out whether it's a deer, elk, antelope, whatever it is this pack separates from the frame it just unzips it has a compression a meat carrying chamber on it um, butterfly straps to hold it in it's a whole it's a meat pack without the backpack once you separate them when you're all done you put the two together and you're all done We're gonna have two separate units here then. Now we got the, the grip frame and the meat chamber here and my pack and gear are separated right now. When we're all done, we're gonna have the critter packed in here and the meat bags uh, cinched up in here. We'll throw the pack on, we'll be ready to go out all in one load. Get them in here. I'm gonna try and keep some of the meat up towards the top for now because um, all the weight, once we get it on the pack, it's going to shift to the bottom. So we're going to get everything cinched up, tightened up as is, spread out on the pack. Again, as we, want, as we start traveling, everything's going to settle to the bottom. So we're going to bring the, the bottom strap up, cinch it up. Same with the next one. That's going to keep everything from falling out the bottom. So again, you want to try and keep everything centered, keep your weight centered, cinch your straps nice and tight. Then we'll bring the uh, butterfly straps around to the sides. I'm going to get things brought to the middle here a little bit. Okay, I'm going to attach the the answer pack now to the grip frame um, and they're just going to attach here with buckles. I'm going to have to open them up a little bit yet. That one on. Everything loosened up. I'm going to roll it over. Do the same thing to this side. And again all these compression straps are heavy duty. You're not going to break them. That's what they're made for. Over there, we're going to hook our last couple straps up here. Hold him in place. I got to lay it back down one more time and cinch everything back up. And uh, make sure everything's centered, everything's attached. Up. Got it up. First thing you want to do is get your, your waist strap on. Get it centered on your hips. Snug it up tight. Get your waist on or get out of your weight coming on your hips. You go to your sternum strap. Get that adjusted. It's not real tight. Nice thing is these load lifters in the back, there's a strap on each side of this. All you gotta do is pull forward and it sucks that load right up into your back. Both sides. It brings the weight right snug against your back. I got my waist belt tightened up pretty good. Kind of light on the chest. 
and we're ready to go. Like I said, easiest part is this. The hard part's getting out of here now. So we're going to grab a couple things and uh, we're working our way out. Thousand fifteen Wyoming antelope. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate you coming and helping out running camera with me. He's a he's a cool looking goat. You know, nice and wide. I've never shot one that wide. So, uh, you know, uh, outside of Gillette, there's a lot of a lot of antelope out here in the Gillette area, uh, and, and we refer to them as cookie cutters. They're all look about the same, same height, same mass, everything. There's no giants where we're hunting, but it's just, it's so much fun. You gotta give it a try. So, Jason, come on in. Get in here for the closing moments with me. You look cool. Thank Good you. job. Thank you. Yeah, I like how he, you know, he really comes forward off of his head with his horns. Yeah, like that one I shot in North Dakota. Yeah, that's Crooked really horns. cool. Where he comes forward. Yeah, really cool. Well, we'll get him tagged up. Yes. Yeah, I tell you, special thanks to uh, everybody in the Gillette area that makes this so enjoyable, from the restaurants to the gas station, um, to our good buddy Jeff Seekitch, of course. And uh, what was kind of fun today is uh, we split up. Uh, Shelby Armin had a tag, so Shelby and John, they went one way, and Russ and I went the other direction. We had two tags and two units, and uh, Shelby was done pretty quick. And uh, she won the $20. That's right. She was, you know, we're living in the 21st century, so we said the first text with a dead goat wins the 20 bucks, and, you know, she won. But, you know what? Now, we never saw her picture with that text. Yeah, that's true. True. So we're, Technicality. Yeah, you know, so we might have the first goat down where we have people behind the animal. So. Exactly. So uh, thanks for joining us this week on Ultimate Outdoor Adventures TV, and we'll see you next week right here. Same place, same time. Right. Taxidermy services provided by Dakota Taxidermy, capturing the spirit.